I have been excitedly waiting for something to happen in my succulent garden and I looked over at them last night and it's happened. Quick setup for it. So this is a lavender scallops kalanchoe and it is a pretty phenomenal plant. I have some other videos about it, but this is what it looked like when I first planted it. It was a little stretched out, but still looked pretty good overall. And then it got crazy stretched out and I decided to behead it um, in December. So I chopped off the top and you can actually see right here, this is the stuff that I cut off from it. So these are the cuttings, but you can see from the succulent tracker app that um, the original stems I left bare. I wasn't sure if anything would grow, but something did. And so this is just over a month later and we have little variegated Kalanchoe babies. And aren't those amazing? So it's interesting to me, the little one at the very top is kind of greenish white. And I, I do believe it'll probably just end up growing and staying green. But then you have this really beautiful pink and green on these others. So the green is the natural growing part of the plant and the pink is actually the variegated part. It does not absorb chlorophyll and it actually grows much slower because of that. So I am super excited that this actually produced something. Now you'll notice this one still does not have any babies on it. I'm hopeful that it will get more. And then I also had a twin plant um, that I separated out too. And if you guys want to see the video of cutting these apart and repotting them and all of that, it is available in our Succulent Lovers Club. It was actually a workshop that I did with our club members and repotted a bunch of things. So these have not grown yet. I don't know if they will. It's a little bit tricky for succulents that just have a stem to grow new babies. It's definitely possible, but if they have leaves attached to them still, it's much easier. But with these, all of the leaves were at the top. Um, so it was just really bare stems and then a bunch of leaves at the top here, which as you can see, I cut off. But if I hadn't cut these off, this probably would not have grown new babies. Now the other thing that's fun is there's this little baby growing on the edge of this leaf, which I love. And I have one more thing to show you. So I also pulled off some leaves of those plants and propagated them. So you can see a bunch of little white Kalanchoe babies along here and then a much bigger one that's growing here. Now something that's interesting, these are all white. There is one tiny, tiny sliver of green right there. But I'm curious to see how these grow because plants like this that are completely white don't absorb chlorophyll or the chemical that they need from light in order to grow or they don't produce it. I'm not a scientist in that regard, but variegated plants grow very slowly for that reason. So I'm curious to see if these will actually survive once the mother leaf dies, because right now it's the mother leaf that's putting out all the energy to help these grow. So I'm really, really fascinated by this. Propagation in general is fun, but these variegated Kalanchoe propagation are extra fun and I'm excited to see what happens and I'll keep you guys updated with what happens. It's pretty amazing to me to see what can happen when you just experiment with your succulents and you're willing to try something new. I know it's scary for a lot of people to chop off the top of their succulent, but you can see what happened there. Um, I'd also highly encourage you to keep track of your succulents in some way, whether it's through the Succulent Tracker app, which you can find in the Apple or Android app store, just search for Succulent Tracker. But taking pictures like this and having them dated is a great way to see the progress of your succulent over time. So I knew that I had repotted these a little while ago, but because I had that picture saved and the note recorded in the Tracker app, I knew that it's been about six weeks since that happened. And it's so fun to see the progress over time. So I'm gonna keep taking pictures as these continue to grow and hopefully those other stems will work out as well. And if you're not familiar with how to propagate succulents from cuttings or from leaves, be sure to join us in the Succulent Lovers Club. I'll have links in the description of the video for you to join there. You can also see the workshop where I actually repotted and pruned back all of these Kalanchoe's along with some other plants inside the club. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, share it with all of your succulent loving friends, and I will see you next time.